because I didn't know much of the Bible, she said to me, Aisha, do you know that the Bible says that you are the head and not the tail and that you'll be above only and never beneath? That really blew my mind. I was like, what? The Bible says that? And I believed the word of God. I believed the word so much that I knew God was going to help me. This is a continuation of my story. Uh, if you've been following up, I, I talked about how I gave my life to Christ in the last video. Today, I would like to share on uh, some persecutions I went through and how God moved in my life uh, after I gave my life to Christ. Of course, after I became a Christian, I had to explain this to my family. Remember, I was married, and I did, at this time I had two children. So I had to explain to my husband what had happened, and um, he was in shock, you know, not unexpected. However, I made him understand that I believe I had done the right thing because my life suddenly changed. I knew that I was in the will of God after I gave my life to Christ. And... Um, he also told me at that time that he felt something special about me, that he loved me more than he had loved me all the years we were married, which was like nine years at this time, and that uh, there was something special that had happened. But he couldn't put his finger on it. And uh, he became curious at this point, even though he was upset. He became curious. I wanted to know why I believed in Christ. And he took interest and actually began to search through the Bible. But at, at this time, the whole of his family members and mine were all Muslims. So when my parents also found out, they didn't find it funny. They were very, very upset to the extent that my dad had to come to Mina to speak with me about changing my mind. But um, of course, it, it, it wasn't possible because I knew who I believed and I knew what I was enjoying as a believer. Um, in spite of the serious pers persecutions I was facing, like I mentioned in the last video, there was this joy inside of me that just could not be quenched. This uh, contentment, satisfaction, knowing that I had taken the right step. And uh, God really you know, did some special things in my life when I got born again. Just a month after I got born again, I had an experience, an experience uh, of baptism of the Holy Spirit. I didn't know what it was then, but when it happened, I went to campus and I told my friend about it and she screamed and said, wow, this is what a lot of people desire and, you know, desire for years and it, it takes time for them to, to be baptized. And this I just got on a platter of gold, I would say, because it happened about a month after I gave my life to Christ. This made my relationship with God very unique at this time, I believe, because he began to speak to me, speak with me very often. And he began to teach me the word. And he began to teach me to pray as well. And my relationship with him began to grow. And at some point, I had uh, some doubt about my ability to do well in school. Before this time, before this time, I was doing very well in school. I was in my final year now, and uh, from the look of things, I was going to make a, a first class. But my final year became a bit shaky, because after I gave my life, due to the problems I was going through, I wasn't as focused as I used to be, and I got a bit scared. Uh, so I, I spoke to one of my friends who uh, encouraged me. I told her that, look, I've been doing very well as, as a non-believer. Now that I'm a believer, I'm so scared. I feel that I'm not going to do well anymore because I've not had time to study the way I usually study. And I wasn't confident. 
I didn't feel confident in writing my exams. And she made a statement that uh, blew my mind because I didn't know much of the Bible. She said to me, Aisha, do you know that the Bible says that you are the head and not the tail and that you'll be above only and never beneath? That really blew my mind. I was like, what? The Bible says that? And I believed the word of God. I believed the word so much that I knew God was going to help me. And I kept confessing that word. And that word gave me confidence. And then when I wrote those exams, I would confess that there were some papers I knew very well that the Holy Spirit dictated to me what to write. I did not know what I was writing because they were abstract. To my amazement, when my results came out, I had A's. That whole year, I had 11 courses. I had nine A's in total and two B's. It could have been God, not Aisha. I wept when I saw that result because I knew that God wanted to prove a point that he was with me from the very day I gave my life. And he helped me. This tells me that God helps. He helps us. As long as we, we depend on him, he will help us through any situation, no matter how tough. Remember, this was my final year. And uh, the results were going to be out, the final results. And I found out that, you know, calculations were being done. Because in my school, we had FS1, FS2 before we did years 3 to 5. Now, the calculations were being done with and without FS1 and FS2. And I still had a first class, whether they had FS1 or FS2, I mean, uh, the other years added. That year, 1990, the year of 1990, I was the only student in the school that had first class. This could have been God's doing. He wanted to showcase me, and he did. In spite of all that was done to ensure that it didn't happen, it happened. And I give God all the glory for that. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not always an easy road to follow Jesus. We don't follow him because of money. We don't follow him because of what we will get by way of worldly reward. But despite severe persecution from her family, from her husband's family, and the school, Aisha made first class in computer science and mathematics. Foot Nina in 1990 and 31 years after that record has not been beaten. Nobody has beaten her record. You give your life to Jesus. The things he will do, where he will take you, the adventures you will experience will be out of this world. She was afraid she would not make it, but God is a faithful God. God is a reliable God. God is trustworthy. God is dependable. The whole idea, I don't know who you are, but surrender your heart to Jesus. This is what this is all about. You may be struggling. You are afraid. If I do this, what is the price I'm going to pay for it? She paid the price. But God has kept her. God has favored her. God has promoted her. God has elevated her. He will do the same thing for you. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Send this video to your friends. Encourage other people. God is at work changing lives, changing destinies. Yours is the next. God bless you.